Hi everyone, today I have a card with a very simple design using the emboss resist technique. So to start out with, I die cut a lawn fawn stitch square die from some Tim Holtz watercolor paper. I chose the Tim Holtz watercolor paper because it's white versus the watercolor paper that I do have, which is an off-white kind of color. So next I took the Heart of Gold stamp set from Neat and Tangled. I put it on my Fiskars compact stamp press. Prepared the watercolor paper with my EK Success powder tool and stamped that with VersaFine Onyx Black ink because I'm going to be doing some heat embossing. Now you could do it with Versamark ink but I find to get a crisp embossed black I find it better to use the VersaFine and then sprinkle clear embossing powder over top. So just getting that pressed on there, making sure I have a clean impression. Then I'm going to be sprinkling clear embossing powder on that, shaking off the excess, and heat set that. Next I took some Peacock Feathers Distress Ink, smushed that on my craft mat, Brought in some water with my paintbrush and just messily applied that onto the heart. You could bring in other colors which would be really really pretty but I found the inspiration on Pinterest for this card and when I seen it I thought it was so beautiful. Next I cut a piece of craft foam to fit behind the watercolor panel. Used my Permatac Glue Glider Pro, applied that on the back of it, then adhered that to a piece of black cardstock that I had cut to 4x4. Four four. Just lining that up good. And I didn't get to record this part but I took this stamp set that says or stamp set um, it's a hero arts flowers stamp set it's a really small stamp set and I stamped the thank you from that and I stamped that with the VersaFine and sprinkled the clear embossing powder on top heat set that and used the die the metal die to die cut that and put some foam tape on the back and adhered that to the middle of the heart. To finish off my card, I put a scattering of Pretty Pink Posh Sparkling Clear sequins in the 4mm and 6mm sizes across the card. I just thought that I just thought this card was very very simple but very elegant in the same way. I love how the Distress Ink just makes that heart stand out even more and I just love the geometric shapes in this heart. And that finishes my card. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for weekly card making videos.